G'day guys, in this video we're going to be using one of these, an RTL SDR dongle, to receive some pictures from the International Space Station, the ISS, which is traveling overhead, and we're gonna receive it today on just this little USB dongle and an antenna. <laughs> G'day guys, Hayden, amateur radio call sign Victor Kilo 7 Hotel Hotel here on Ham Radio DX. So today we're going to be trying to decode the ISS and uh, getting some pictures. So the, the International Space Station today is June the 21st, has just started transmitting SSTV, slow scan television pictures. So you can receive this using any uh FM radio receiver. So in this case, as I said, I've got the RTL SDR dongle. It's like a $20 SDR dongle, really cheap. You can buy them off the internet. Just just have a look on uh, on Amazon or eBay. I'm running a uh, vertical antenna at the moment. It's uh, simply a diamond vertical antenna, not the best antenna for receiving satellites, but hopefully it should work today. So we've got a little bit of time before the uh, the ISS passes overhead. Here's my uh, my location here in Tasmania. And uh, you can see there that the pass is going to go south of, oh dear, <laughs> it's going to go south of uh, of the island. So hopefully we get some sort of picture. Uh, I was receiving at, uh, it on the last pass. Uh, you can see that the next pass actually goes directly overhead, uh, but it's going to be a little bit late here. So I thought I'd uh, see if I can catch it. So hopefully in a few minutes time, we will get some picture activity. Okay, to receive the pictures, what I'm using is, as I said, uh, the RTL SDR dongle that is currently plugged into my computer, and I am running uh, uh, AirSpy SDR Sharp. So, uh, if you go to uh, rtl-sdr.com, uh, which is written on the USB, there's quick start guides on how to get this all running. But uh, I'm running AirSpy SDR Sharp. I'm tuned to 145 decimal 800 uh, using uh, narrow FM. Uh, to receive the picture, I'm using MMSSTV version 1.13, which I think is the latest. I just downloaded it real quick. And I'm using virtual cable to port the audio from uh, SDR Sharp through to MMSSTV. And uh, the tracking software that this is running uh, right here is called GPredict. Uh, and these are all free downloads. Uh, that you could just get straight off the net. Now the mode that the that uh, is being transmitted is PD120 uh, off the International Space Station at the moment. All you need to do is check out ARISS. Uh, just Google ARISS and uh, the website there should show uh, when the station is running SSTV pictures and when you'll be able to receive them. It doesn't run them all the time. So just check the link in the description below. Let me know if you've received the S uh, received the ISS uh, using SSTV or even voice before. Uh, pop that in the comments. I'll be interested to know. So still waiting for a signal here. So I'm hoping that it pops up. If not, we'll have to try again tomorrow. Ah, there we go. Bit of fading going on. And... Let's turn that down. Ooh, so the you can hear the signal going in and out. Ooh, gone into the noise. I can see the amateur radio on the ISS, MIR, and shuttle. My antenna's not that good. Turn it down. And my antenna is not that good, so um, the the oh here we go coming back again slightly. The ISS transmits a picture every two minutes, I believe now, and uh, so now once it once it finishes sending this picture, it'll wait a little bit and then it will send it. I think in another two minutes time. And so we've got a little bit of a picture there. Well, that's a good strong signal. You can see that on the waterfall here. So there we have it. Uh, 
<laughs> Got a partial picture anyway. Uh, amateur radio on the ISS, uh, MIR and shuttle, I think it says. Um, RS0 ISS, I can see there. NA1SS is also uh, on the call sign there. I can't quite make out uh, some of these uh, these other bits down down the bottom here. But, um, yeah, I mean, uh, there's, there's a picture. I'm sure that if I had a better antenna, I would do much better. Um, and it wasn't really the best pass. As you could see here, the ISS has gone to the south of me, and I have quite a large hill in the way between the uh, between uh, me and the ISS at the moment. Okay, so we've got another pass coming up in about 10 or so minutes. You can see the ISS is just starting to make its way down towards Australia again. Uh, this time, the pass, as you can see, is going to go straight over my QTH. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to receive a little bit better picture. We'll see. The antenna that I was using, uh, as I mentioned before, is a diamond collinear vertical antenna, which uh, doesn't have a radiation pattern suitable for satellites. It's sort of towards the horizon. Um, it's all I've got at the moment, but anyway, we'll see how it goes. Uh, just Even just a simple dipole or a quarter wave vertical antenna um, that's cut for that for 145.8 will work uh, very, very well and, and should be able to pick up the ISS quite easily. But uh, it was a strong signal yesterday, even though um, it didn't pass straight overhead. So I'm hoping that I get some sort of uh, uh, strong signal. And yeah, just using the, the SDR, we'll, uh, we'll see how we go. Okay, we're just coming up now. The satellite's just above to come up over the horizon. You can see the elevation here is just about to pass zero degrees or <laughs> from minus anyway below the horizon to above. And there we go. So I will open up the squelch and we'll see what kind of signal we get and hopefully we get a decent picture. We're receiving something back through now. Very good signal. Although it sounds like I've got something interfering nearby. So I had a bit of interference locally. That's why the uh, we've got a bit of the the noise across the the picture. But we've got a quite a nice signal tonight. Much better than uh, than I had last night. The satellite's up at about 25 to 24 degrees now. And there we go. Let's just uh, mute that for a minute. So uh, I got a partial picture because it was halfway through uh, the the cycle of decoding. So I um, I haven't got the the full picture there. It uh, started a little bit uh, a little bit too late. Let's see what we hear on the next round. Hopefully coming up soon. Ah, here we go. Right on time. Good strong signal though. Oh, <laughs> spoke too soon. <laughs> So you can hear the fading as the ISS moves through the lobes of the antenna that I've got. As I said, the, the vertical collinear um, has lobes which uh, predominantly look out towards the horizon where it's the strongest. But as the ISS moves through those lobes, you can hear the, the, the nulls and as the signal drops down as it moves through those lobes. Quite interesting. So you can see the amateur radio on the ISS, MI own shuttle. I think this might have been the one that I tried to receive yesterday. But hopefully I get a full picture. The elevation is starting to decline. It's down to 21 degrees now. So it's getting pretty close to in the main lobe of my antenna. So it should be fairly strong uh, from now on, I would imagine. And the signal is really holding well, actually. There we go. We got a decent picture. A uh, little bit of uh, noise there from the uh, the fading, but uh, if you have a if you have a Yagi antenna or something that you can track the satellite with, then uh, then you'll get a, a much better picture. I know that there, I think there's an iPhone uh, there's a, a iPhone or an Android app. I'm not sure which one uh, that uh, you can just hold next to the radio, and it will decode the the picture as as you see here. You can also, as I said, use MMSS TV. Uh, to decode using the RTO SDR dongle, but even if you just have a handheld and you just hold it next to the uh, the the speaker of the handheld next to the phone, and you have a, a Yagi antenna and you sort of point it and uh, track it across the sky, then uh, you should get some pretty good results. So the uh, the ISS is just passing south of New Zealand now uh, at the moment. You can see down here, so we might get another pass. I'm not sure if they'll send a different picture because that's a different picture to what I just received a few minutes ago. So 
we'll just see. I might possibly get another picture. There's, it's only 10 degrees above the horizon now, so we'll, uh, we'll see how we go. I might just get a partial one. So here we go again, five degrees above the horizon or four degrees, starting to fade now. Signal's getting weaker. Um, so I'm not too sure about my chances of success here. Nah, fading right out. But uh, yeah, that worked very well. Very, very well. I'm glad that I got a couple of pictures anyway. So uh, give it a go. If you want to know what else you can do with Amateur Radio and the International Space Station, then check out this video over here where I try to attempt a voice contact with other amateurs around Australia using a repeater on board the International Space Station. Please subscribe and hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. 73 for now. Thank you for watching.